Hampton Roads, Virginia is home to the country's largest naval base and to Norfolk Naval Shipyard, a critical facility that maintains the military's fleet of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers and submarines. The region is also a hotspot of sea level rise and dangerous flooding. Seas are rising at twice the global average here because of climate change and sinking land. The area floods regularly, even on sunny days. The problem will only worsen as global warming accelerates. The shipyard is the only Navy facility on the East Coast that can fully service the nation's 11 aircraft carriers and among only a handful that maintain submarines. So flooding here poses a particular risk to the Navy's ability to respond to threats. Over the past decade, it's flooded once a year on average, worsening the already poor condition of the 250-year-old facility. Ray Mabus, Secretary of the Navy under President Obama, said the shipyard is going to disappear unless something is done soon to fortify it. And a major hurricane would have the potential to cause serious, if not catastrophic, damage. A top concern is the yard's dry docks. Basins that can be sealed off and pumped dry to expose a ship's hull. Once inside, the multi-billion dollar ships are often cut open and exposed for months or even years. In a report by the Government Accountability Office, Navy officials warned that if a storm were to flood a dry dock while a ship was undergoing maintenance, it could cause catastrophic damage. It's essentially like sinking the ship, a GAO official said. Damage to a ship raises the prospect of damage to the nuclear reactor that powers it. Experts say a nuclear accident is extremely unlikely, but any concerns within the military, if they exist, would be classified. Chronic flooding is already damaging the shipyard's buildings and equipment. The Navy says it's taken steps to protect the ships themselves. It's built temporary flood walls around the dry docks. Workers also can seal up the ships as storms approach. But the measures aren't enough to overcome the long-term threat. The Navy has designed a permanent flood wall to protect the most vulnerable dry docks, but it hasn't received funding yet. Even if the docks stay dry, the rest of the facility and the surrounding region, which supplies electricity and communications to the shipyard, will remain vulnerable. The U.S. nuclear fleet relies on several other shipyards and facilities around the world. All of them are on the coast, and all face their own risks from rising seas. Thank you.